Well, you know when you have one of those, yeah, as we just hit a dip, you know when you have one of those weekends that is just filled with activities? Well, I have one of those weekends and I thought I would take you along with me. So come along and enjoy the ride. I certainly Here enjoy. is what is a little unusual and a little special about this particular weekend. As you know, I am in a new relationship. We've been together about three or four months and this is the first time that he's really going to meet a lot of people that I know and really step into my world for a little bit and so I thought I'd bring you along as well. First up is a party. This is a reunion with a group of people that I used to work with oh about 20 years ago and what's interesting about this is it's at a beautiful rooftop bar in Los Angeles and we hit it right at sunset these are all of my co-workers at Playboy now this is not like a party with a bunch of Playboy playmates these are office people. These are people who did behind the scenes. These are people who helped get projects made and just really, really great people who I haven't seen in 20 years. And it was really wonderful to get to catch up and also get to introduce my new beau to a few of the co-workers from my past. We decided to go get dinner at a lovely restaurant on Melrose called Fig and Olive, and these photos do not do it justice. It was delicious. This is an octopus dish. And then it was getting on towards 1 a.m., and it was time to head home because we've got another big day tomorrow. Well, I had a great time at the Playboy reunion last night, and then we went out for a bite to eat. And, um, I'm feeling a little bit ragged this morning. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit ragged this morning because I only had two hours sleep. But you know what? My friend Nancy, who was also at the Playboy reunion, really looks like shit. I've told you that I am in the process of directing a short film and what I am doing this morning is part of that short film and I still have another day left to shoot on that in order to finish it and then I have all of the editing to begin but uh, this is a little taste of what's to come. We have my friend Nancy in zombie makeup and she is about to run a zombie run. This is an obstacle course. And what I didn't realize was that in order to capture at each obstacle, I ended up having to run so much more than I really anticipated. And I had a baggie in my hand and stuff around my waist. And it was a toasty day. And then I completely lost her. I couldn't find where the heck she was. <laughs> Uh, so I did get to catch my breath before I had to be off and running again once she did turn up. So you'll be hearing more about this short film as soon as I finish it up. Then we treated ourselves to a lovely lunch at a restaurant called Granville which is in Studio City, and we got a wonderful, bright, fresh lunch. It's one of my favorite places. I grabbed an hour nap, and then back into Hollywood. Tonight, we are attending the screening of a film that I did. Ooh. I guess about two years ago, and the film is called Scumbag, and it is an artsy independent film that is currently running the festival circuit and doing quite well. It was being shown as part of a uh, connection to the Hollywood Film Festival, but rather than at a screening room, it was taking place 
in a nightclub. So a little, little different energy from what we're used to. Uh, I wasn't on this film for a long time, so it was kind of weird because I didn't really know anyone there, but it was still a, a fun, fairly low-key event to show off a red carpet to my new beau. And I do apologize for not showing him to you. Uh, not everybody wants to be in the limelight, so thank you for understanding. Super glad that I got to wear my spiderweb dress from Pin Up Girl Clothing again. This time I wore it without the peplum, gave it a slightly different look from the way I wore it at the Streamies. And I also added the wonderful accessory somebody gifted me with a beautiful spiderweb bracelet that really accented the dress perfectly, I thought. It was really fun to see this film. It's a little different from a lot of the films I did. It is very much about the Hollywood club scene and the people who inhabit it. Went out for sushi afterwards. One of my favorite places on Ventura Boulevard, Iroha Sushi in Studio City. Here we are in the home stretch where we're wrapping up this weekend. It has been a heck of a weekend. The one thing we haven't do, done, do, done. <laughs> I'm no longer capable of speech. Uh, the one thing we haven't really done is rest, but we have had quite the ride starting out with Friday night in Hollywood, then up in Acton yesterday for the mud run, and then Hollywood again last night for the screening, and now we are headed to downtown Los Angeles for a Magic Funhouse panel and Come along for the ride. Today we are heading downtown to the convention center for Stan Lee's Comic Con, LA Comic Con. And of course we couldn't get anywhere near the convention center because there was a huge race going on. And I got to walk around all over downtown in my stiletto heels. Yay! This was a brutal weekend for my feet. <laughs> but really fun to be able to go speak on a panel with all of my favorite people about this terrific show. And I'm going to show you the panel in a separate video because it's an hour long and some of you may enjoy it, some of you won't, I don't know, but you'll get to see it. Uh, but there, here's a little sneak peek of us getting ready for the Comic-Con. These are some of my favorite people in the world. I really consider these people to be my family. So if you wonder who I'm hanging out when I'm not hanging out with you, it's these crazy kids. These are the people that I love so much. And you'll get to meet them all individually in my next video that is specifically about our Comic-Con panel. June, I want you in the shot. Sit down there, 
Looks like you. A couple years left. We have a SWAT team standing by. And of course, what could we do after this? What would really, really top off these adventures? Well, we went to dinner, well, lunch, at Hooters. Because, well, most of us had never been to Hooters before. We just thought it sounded like a hoot that we should go to Hooters. What an amazing weekend. I had an incredible weekend. I hope you had an awesome weekend. I'm exhausted. The sun hasn't even gone down yet. Look, it's still light outside. And I am uh, full on in my jammies and ready to just uh, sit back and put a kitty cat on my lap and uh, call it a night probably really, really soon. <laughs> but it has been a wonderful weekend, and I love you bunches. I will talk to you very soon. Please subscribe to my videos if you haven't already. They are chaotic and crazy, but that is my life. And um, I think most of us kind of live lives that are a little chaotic and crazy, and we all have different flavors of it. I hope you're enjoying yours. I'll talk to you very soon.